I'm Russ Green. I'm here with Aaron Starworth of the DAP Project. Hey, we're interviewing brothers about the history of the DAP. Brother, tell us your name and where you're from. Joe Taylor, Southern Maryland. Hey, good afternoon. I'm Rhonda Henderson here. Mr. Taylor, we noticed that you are a proud veteran and you were just telling us about the DAP and what happened when you tried to get the black power sign when you were serving. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps and we traveled with the United States Navy and the captain saw us dapping out on the flight deck and he told us if we didn't stop we were going to have some problems. We got threatened by the captain of the ship. What did that mean to you when you were giving your fellow, uh, fellow sailors dap? What were you trying to tell them? We were together, a uh, family. When I got drafted I was living in southeast D.C. They were kind of hostile to people that they saw giving that. Said, we're not going to have no knuckle knocking out on my flight deck. Wow. Just for the record, what was the race of the captain? We're not sure, but at that time, most likely he was a Caucasian. Ten times out of ten, he was Caucasian. Ten times out of ten. When you came back to D.C. and gave other people the dap, what was their reaction? Everybody loved it. It was like family. One big family to that brought people closer together, speaking was, the language. And was that during Vietnam War time? Or was yes, it, it was, in 1969, 1970. We can't tell you how much this means to us to talk with you about DAP. We've been studying DAP. And so to hear a first person account from someone who was there is incredibly powerful. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, sir. Thank you.